Hi folks, today I'm going to show you how to transform a styrofoam uh, mannequin into something absolutely beautiful. That's the basic uh, mannequin that you can buy. You can see mine here that I started with. And this had actually been painted and decoupaged before, uh, but it was years ago and had gone a bit tatty. So I took off as much as I could, but you can see there's still some shadows from the napkin underneath. So we painted it up in a very pale chalk paint first because that was quite thick and it covered all the decoupage that was on there. And then I went in with a white, um, antique white general finishes milk paint. And I chose white because the napkin I'm going to use uh, has a white background. So I wanted to make sure that the napkin was shown off to its best. So it would need a white background underneath. So I covered the whole thing and I say it wasn't in great condition, um, but it was okay. Next, I got my napkin and I took the back two layers off because I'm only using the front printed layer. So one, two, peel them off, keep the, uh, the back layers are good for cleaning up. And then I tore them in two quarters. And I always tear because the torn edges disappear into the paint while the straight edges don't. So there I go, tearing them off into four. Now I used about five napkins on this mannequin altogether. Five or six, I think, I can't really remember. This straight edge here, if I don't want to use that, I just um, pull it off, jag it up, um, so that it looks the same as the rest. One napkin, however, I uh, tore in half, but I kept the straight lines because I wanted to create a V for a dress. So you see that straight line off the edge of the napkin? So I used the straight edge on one napkin to create a V like this because I wanted to make her a nice dress out of napkins and that was the way to do it. When I was happy with the napkins lined up, um, I got my glue and I just be careful of the center. I'll show you what to do with that in a second because you don't want them overlapping. So I used my decoupage glue. I have it decanted into a yogurt pot there. And I went along the edge first, pushed back the other napkin out of the way so you can get that edge down and uh, then worked my way inwards. Now you'll see here I managed to tear a bit. So I've left that because I want to show you what I do with it. You'll see that over on the left there. So I worked my way out with the glue and my decoupage brush. This is a lovely soft 20 millimeter brush. It is perfect for decoupage. And you see there now I've created a hole on the left, but I'm just going to pull off a rose and show you that in a minute. Now I'm jaggeding up the edge here down the bottom. This is another way to do it while it's still wet. And I'm taking off the excess in the middle because I don't want one napkin to overlap the other. So I'm taking off where the other napkin is going to overlap. And then I'm jagging up the edge, see like that? So then I continue uh, with the glue and make sure that the napkin is fully down um, all the way around for every bit that I'm keeping, that is. Now I'm going to move around to the other side and do exactly the same. Get the leading edge down first and then work my way inwards. I'm going to use as much of the napkin piece as I possibly can uh, because the less patching up to do, the quicker the whole thing is going to be, really. Um, but when um, I come down towards the centre, you'll see I go all the way down because now I have removed the piece from underneath. You don't ever want lap napkins to overlap because the colour from one will come through the top one. Now, you see what I'm doing here? I'm tearing off excess that I have over her shoulder to allow the napkin to lie flat. If you have too much excess, just tear a bit off and take out the excess like you would a corner of a cushion. You'll see me do it here, down the other corner here. Um, but that's down the center and I'm going to jagged the edge again. Do you remember the way I did on the previous one? Look, just like that with my nail. Because you don't want any straight lines for when you're joining up another piece of napkin because it'll look like you just stuck papers on. So just over here now to the right, as I come down with the glue, I have a little bit too much napkin, so I'm going to tear it, you see, straight down, like that. One piece will go down, but there's just a little overlap, so I'm taking off a little bit off one side, just like that. Just throw it away, and then when I come back in with my glue, it goes all the way down, 
stick one bit and then the other flap also neatly goes down and they don't overlap. That's the most important thing is to make sure that these napkins, you know, they can meet right up to each other, but don't let them overlap. Now I'm going to fix this hole I made here. I just pulled off a little rose off of one of the napkins. I made it sure that it fits that hole. So I pulled off extra bit and then I'm just going to glue it on. And there's no way you can tell any difference once that's on. Perfect. And then we just continue on and uh, each time I'll be adding a quarter of the napkin because that's as big as I want to put on um, initially in one go. And I'll keep adding my quarters till I start filling up the whole body. And then I'll go back with smaller pieces and fill in where I need to. With a busy pattern like this, you don't notice um, patches like that. And that's what decoupage is all about, creating your own pattern once it's on. You can see once again there, I had to tear that to relieve it so it would go around the corner. Just like that. See the extra bit flapping up. And then... When I look, this is going to overlap the top bit a little bit. So I'll just tear off, put down my glue and I'll tear off a little bit of the top piece of that napkin just to make sure that it doesn't overlap the one on top. As I say, because it's a white background, it doesn't matter if it leaves a tiny gap, but it does matter if it overlaps because it'll look much darker in that part. So that's perfect. Tore that off, glue it down and continue over the other side. You can tear off any excess napkin that hangs down from the bottom. When you have the whole mannequin filled with napkins and you have one coat of glue on, you need to continue on with two more, at least two more coats of glue or varnish to protect that napkin before you even attempt to sand it. So after about three or four coats, now you can see I'm covering the whole thing once that's dry, I've about three or four coats of either my decoupage glue or my decoupage varnish if I want to put on a satin or a gloss varnish over it. Then I will go in with a very fine sandpaper and I'll just sand it all very lightly. So in case there are any rough patches, there are any wrinkles, that sanding will take that all back. And then I can finish off with one more layer of glue. Around the back of her dress, I filled the whole back of her dress. So I left her a V in the front but with the napkin I went right up to the neck of the mannequin with the napkins in the back so it does look like a full dress. Then I went on to paint the wooden leg um, and the top uh, in white, antique white as well, just to make the whole thing match in. And here she is all finished. I really enjoyed this project and I think you will too. Hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss any more.